Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your guest on Ash Daniel and I'm back with another video. Today I'll be reading the Rhapsody of Reality for today this Sunday the 26th of Sunday's Reality, written by Pastor Chris Oyakilome. It is tied to manifesting the glory of the kingdom. The main Bible verse is taken from Psalm 145, verse 10 to 12. It reads, Thy works shall praise shall praise thee, O Lord, and thy sins shall bless thee. They shall speak of the glory of the kingdom and shall end of the kingdom and talk of thy power to make known to the sons of man his mighty act and the glorious majesty of his kingdom. Okay. Our opening verse tells us something striking about God's kingdom that we are a part of. It's a kingdom with glory and power. A word I'd like to elaborate on is glory. The Bible says God says, says shall speak of his glory. It also says that will make known the glorious majesty of his kingdom. But what does glory mean? Many times, people use the term glory without knowing what it really means. Glory is that which inspires, produces, or causes honor. When something happens and that thing causes you to give honor, admiration, and respect to another person, that thing is said to be glorious. Therefore, to say a meeting was glorious means that it inspires people to worship the Lord. They were inspired to praise Him. The meeting caused the attendees to respond in honor of God. When Jesus turned water to wine at a wedding ceremony, the Bible says the beginning of the miracles did Jesus in Canaan of Galilee and they manifested forth his glory and his discipline and and his disciples believed on him that's John 2 11 22 the man of God goes on to write that when they saw that he did when they say <clears throat> When they saw what he did by turning water to wine, they were amazed. He manifested forth his glory and his disciples believed in him. They honored and revered him. Now you can understand when the Bible says, they shall speak of the glory of the kingdom. Psalms 145, 11. What's in the kingdom of God that we are talking about? It's a kingdom where sickness aren't real where defeat doesn't exist is exist it's a kingdom where life and immortality reign this is a kingdom of god that we are born into in christ that's first peter 2 9 the amplified version mm. which says but you are a chosen race a royal priesthood a dedicated nation god's own purchased special people that you may set forth the wonderful deed and display the virtues and the perfection of him who called you out of the darkness into his marvelous light. As you walk in the light of who you are in Christ, you are showing for the glory of the kingdom. Take this prayer with me. Dear Father, thank you for the glory of your word in my life. You've called me into your glorious kingdom, making me a partaker of the inheritance of the saints in light. I walk in your glory, dominion, and power today, manifesting your excellence to my world. In Jesus' name, amen. So what have we learned today? We've learned that um in every way we find ourselves we are manifesting the glory of a heavenly kingdom we've come to the end of the reading of this episode of reality thank you for staying 